Sean O'Malley is one of the biggest names in UFC. He's a current UFC bantamweight champion, and today we're going to learn about his first million dollars and how he spent it. So GQ has this series where they bring in athletes and they talk about their first million dollars, how they spent their first million dollars. I haven't seen a lot of these videos, but I'm going to react to this one today. You're not going to believe just how much he spent on cars. Let's see what Sean O'Malley spent his first million on. What's up, GQ? I'm Sugar Sean O'Malley, and this is my first million. Yeah, look at this guy. He looks crazy. Rainbow hair. $20,000 on the slingshot. A little Polaris slingshot. I haven't drove it in like five years, but I still have it. <laughs> oh yeah, those slingshots are like, they're almost like a little motorcycle, or they're considered a motorcycle as far as the license goes. 20K. Not too bad. The Polaris slingshot is just that is. little three-wheeled Batman looking car. You know, I wanted to ball out, but I was trying to be smart. So I was like, I'll just get this. this I love this fringe jacket. Now. I went to the nearest place that sold slingshots, scooped it. I didn't even really know how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> I learned on the way home. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I wonder if he even had a car or if that was his main transportation. There we go. $50,000 on, you know, a couple cars for the family. Get them moving around. Bought three Priuses and paid off the rest of my mom's Nissan. Oh. And nice. Pumped. A lot of these guys want to take care of their families, you know, with cars or houses or whatever. And that's super nice. But I always go back to this example of Shaq buying like $100,000 cars for everyone in his family or his, his mom and dad. At least these are super reasonable. 26 k for a couple Priuses. Taking care of his family, but in a reasonable way. I like it. Here we go. I spent probably around two hundred thousand dollars in jewelry. Oh my gosh, two hundred thousand. They had to get iced out. Oh, to, uh, you know, look good, feel good, perform good. I got a couple watch. Perform good. Jewelry has everything to do with performance in the ring. Oh. Is. I got the Cuban. I got the gold Cuban. The, oh. This fat one right here. I know this thing's heavy as. That's all I know. Twenty percent of the first million. I can uh, rash. Forty thousand for one. Twenty uh, percent of the first million in jewelry. I was with this guy. Like I'm gonna pay for my parents' cars. I'm gonna buy a cheap car. I'm gonna spend two hundred thousand dollars on jewelry. I mean, it checks out when you look at this guy. Look at his hair. It, it's part of his brand, I guess. Rationalize in my head that it is an investment for me. Yes, I can tell myself that. I can tell you know, kind of. I could get it back for what I paid for it right now. The Richard, I did get this from Timepiece Trading. The Richards, I, I feel I've like heard a of better more investment and a nice clean Rolex. You know, not the iced out ones. There's those kind of lose value supposedly after you ice them out, but no, I wasn't really too worried about that. They look good. 200k in jewelry. It's already ridiculous, and we haven't even started to look at the houses, which he's going to talk about in a second. He started talking about investments. This is so funny. Like they try to almost justify their purchases. And if you want to buy jewelry, just buy the jewelry and just say you liked it. Just say you want to be iced out, like you just said. This is not the best investment tool to use, obviously. Gosh, 200K. That's insane. For Mother's Day, I gave my girl and my mom 50,000 each. You gotta, you gotta spoil the mamas. They're Just good cash. They take care of me. Don't know where I'd be without without them. So how to, you know, hook them up. I slack on Mother's Day and birthdays and I'm not a very good, you know, holiday guy. So I was like, this is this will be perfect. You know, and they're worth way more than that, but it's the thought that counts. That's Mother's Day for like the next 10 years. $50,000 each. Just giving it away. Oh no. Another $200,000 on cars. Oh no. I had to put a nice little down payment on the Lambo. Oh no. I bought a down the payment. Tesla, the Model 3 Performance. Oh. I think that was 60000 Paid for that cash. And okay. Then I got the Model X Plaid, which is one hundred fifty. Put a nice down payment on that. Down payment. So about $200,000 on cars. Guys, if you, if you make a million dollars, don't put down payments on cars. That's the stupidest thing. I mean, if you want a Lambo, at least wait till you're big enough to buy it in cash. I get you want to flex on people. You want to drive down the street and be a celebrity and have a Lambo. But if you don't even own it in cash, it's not that cool. The Teslas are kind of like my daily drivers. The Lambo I try to take out once a week. When I first got That's the cool Lambo, Lambo though. you know, I had a the wrap, watermelon. Of course, I had to get a wrap pink. It was originally red. Uh, I got the wheels green. 
I got this custom Louis steering wheel. This guy did it, it's crazy. But the Teslas, they're hard to beat comfort wise. Speed really, I mean, they're, they're crazy cars. I got the Tesla, that Model X, cause it was like one of the safest cars out there. I got it for Danny. I got my baby in there. That's kind of like our family car. And then my Model 3 Performance, you know, it's a fast little sedan. I like it, it's cool. You get pulled over too many times driving those things though. <laughs> it's an issue. That makes sense. I mean, get a Tesla. Get a, I mean, you, make a, you just made a million bucks. You can get a $60,000 car and it's a family car. Super reasonable. The Lambo is where he lost me. Not only did he get a Lambo, he put a down payment on it. Just buy a car in cash, man. Like he did the, the Tesla. 200K. So he dropped 200K in jewelry. 200K in cars. Ugh. It's a good thing he's made more than a million since then. And then I spent 500,000. The rest of it. Houses, just to make sure I'm set up, you know, financially, I feel, you know, pretty secure, safe doing that. 500,000 on houses. I bought five houses in Arizona so far. So the first house I bought, I lived in it. And then my mom lived in it. And now my sister's living in it right now. The second house is actually a pretty cool story. I used to stream on Twitch a lot. And I have these guys in my chat every day and I moved four of them out and they live in that house now. So I <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay, 500 gallon houses. He wants to be, he talked about being secure. He wanted to be safe. Totally get that. I mean, as a fighter, you never know how long you're going to be able to fight, how many of these punches you can take when your next fight's going to be your last. So I understand like wanting to get a house and be secure, want to be able to secure your family, his baby, as his wife or his girlfriend, whatever she is. Yeah, get a house, buy a house in cash. Take some of that money that you spent on the cars, move that over towards the house, buy a house in cash. That way, if your last, if your next fight is your last, if you don't win the title, which you just did, then you have a house paid for in cash. You don't have another bill ever again, basically. But the <laughs> the Twitch thing. Streaming on Twitch, that's another income. That's nice. And then moving to random strangers in your house. I, I want to hear more about this. I rent that out. I rent out another house to some fighters, some up and coming fighters. That's cool. One house right now, the one I'm going to Airbnb it out. And then uh, the house I have, I just bought a little farm. I got 15 chickens, a cow. I can't think of who he reminds me of with that fro, the blonde fro. Maybe Annie? <laughs> With the blonde one instead of the, instead of the red. I'm anyway, train, so saved up two thousand dollars in my two thousand six Nissan Altima, packed it, drove nineteen hours straight by myself to Arizona. Wow. I literally moved there with one dream, one goal in mind, and that's to become you know world champ. He did it. Well, the good news is he's made more money since then. I'm assuming to come in with your first million. Drop two hundred thousand on cars and not even own all of them, and then drop another five hundred thousand on houses and start to rent. I think he's he wants to make good moves. He know he, he said the thing about the investment with the jewelry. That's not a real investment, but he, he's starting to think smart about housing. Like if he's going to rent some houses out, maybe do some real estate investing. But he's getting so complicated. You know, he wants to rent a couple to some fighters, rent a house for Airbnb. He's probably got something managing. It's so complex. He's streaming, he's fighting, he's training. I mean, when you, if I were him, I think I would have just streamlined all this. Buy my house in cash, buy my car, two cars, whatever, your parents' cars. You're still under half a million at that point. And then just focus on training. Focus on having a paid-for house, not getting all these real, these real estate properties and the headaches of those things, and just focus on fighting. Because from what I've heard from these people, it's all day, every day, every hour. That's all you think about is fighting. I don't know. It's just pretty complex for for what I think he's got going on in his life. Uh, he's got to get a haircut. He looks like Annie from, I don't even know, Annie? It's called Annie. Also, I hope he doesn't see this because he could totally kill me if he wanted to, I think, so. But if you want some advice, Sugar, Sugar, Sean O'Malley, let me know. Be willing to talk to you.